Hi, my name is Kyle, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about AM and our Network Operations Center. It is always AM's goal to connect a customer with a live handoff to an experienced engineer. AM NOC receives tickets through many different methods, whether they come in via email, automated systems, and, and whatever method they arrive. And we manage our tickets through AM's ticketing system. The system manages our service level agreements and ensures that we're meeting the requirements and the agreements that we've set up with our customers. Our automated monitoring systems consist of several tools. This is one of our more powerful tools for monitoring our customers and gives us a real quick overview of how our entire customer base is standing. From here, we can drill into specific devices and drill all the way down to all the different sensors and areas that we're, that we're watching and taking care of. Each one of these devices has a priority assigned to it so that we can log it as a priority one, priority two, priority three issue, uh, which ties it to the correct service level agreement and make sure that we take care of it according to how important the issue is. And of course, we can drill all the way down and monitor the real-time status of the device, look at the device's performance over periods of time in order to make sure that we can spot and track trends. This information is kept historically for, I believe it's three years at this point. Uh, so in this case, we're looking at a 30-day at a snapshot, but I can drill into the specific details of what it looked like six months ago, you know, down to very small windows of time, enabling us to really see and know what's happening in trouble shoot issues. Our network operations center is always keeping an eye on, we call it the wheel, and when we see things changing colors on the wheel, we know that there's something happening out there. This particular sensor, I happen to know, is, is paused because there's an issue with it, um, but it's not service impacting, so we're waiting for a maintenance window where we can go in and, and resolve the issue. We're monitoring everything from bandwidth on individual interfaces to fans, power supplies, um, anything that we can get our fingers in and, and keep an eye on, we're doing that. Our service customers are spread across a fairly large area from Denver all the way out to Dallas and of course all of New Mexico. We have quite a few right now in the panhandle of Texas as well. We keep an eye on this and, and a lot of times this can help us spot trends. You know, uh, service providers having issues in certain areas will see a whole section of the map go red and so we probably know that there's a problem with a, a telco or a service provider. Because of the breadth of install base of systems that we're monitoring, we typically know about out, you know, major outages with one of the service providers, maybe even before they do. We see it happen really fast. The wheel that we're looking at represents all of the devices that are managed by AM. These are these are only our managed service customers, so it's not our entire customer base in this particular view. As you can see here, we can drill into voice gateways for this particular customer, change the view to a list, and we can see the routers at every one of the sites. You know, this is a site they call Bell, and we can drill in and we can look at the individual interfaces on the router. We can look at the health of the CPU, make sure all the fans are spinning and working correctly. The power supplies are up and running. And as we drill down, temperatures can be really interesting, you know, especially on these branch routers. Um, a lot of times they're stuffed in a closet. They don't have proper ventilation, and so, this allows us to kind of monitor and know what's going on. Uh, as we can see, this guy's been really stable. Uh, it looks like they turn off the air conditioning at night. We can see, you know, six degrees Celsius variation in temperature, most likely from somebody playing with the air conditioner or opening and closing a door probably causing the the fluctuation in temperatures on this. This customer has 30 some odd sites. We can sit and look at kind of an overview of the device as a whole, the system health of the device, which is basically the hardware monitoring, all the way down to even watching certain voltages within the system. We can drill into that and look at a lot of individual voltages throughout. And this is just a Cisco router. And we can drill in and look at, you know, the different voltages feeding the different components, you know, the ASIC voltages. Um, but we're, we're keeping track of this. And if it goes out of the green specifications, then it will generate a ticket in our ticketing system automatically. So we're, we're very granular and we're really drilling down in deep to make sure that we're, as we said, proactive. And we're staying atop of these issues and, and resolving them, like I said before, the customer may even know they happen. You know, if the temperature starts spiking and it gets above the warning threshold, we'll get a ticket. We contact, we'll either contact the customer or actually travel to the site, depending on our agreement with that customer, to figure out what's going on before it gets into the red zone and becomes a real problem and damages the equipment. That's a prime example of of what we mean when we talk about our proactive monitoring and systems. We do a lot of work in the Cisco collaboration space. 
so we, we can also drill into that. It's not just routers and switches and things that you typically think about with SNMP monitoring, but we're watching you know, the number of phones registered onto a particular call manager, and we can track changes. This has very few phones on that particular call manager. Here's an example of one of a, a customer of ours branch going down in the middle of the night. It was between 8 p.m. and 12 a.m., and it was down for a very short period of time and about, it looks like about 40 of their phones went offline. Um, in this particular case, the customer was replacing a fan in a router. We already were aware of the issue um, and we knew it was gonna go down, but it, historically we track and know what's happening to many, many aspects throughout their systems. In addition to the voice aspects, of course, we're watching things like, uh, you know, processor utilization and and if processor utilization stays over predefined thresholds for a period of time, then we trigger, we trigger alerts. We spend a tremendous amount of effort when we bring on a new managed service customer and also just maintaining those customers in order to make sure that we're tracking the right metrics. We want to stay on top of and, and watch the right metrics, make sure that we're responding to the right issues and staying ahead of problems that may be occurring. Proactive is, is probably the most important aspect of what we're trying to, to do for, for our customers. We wanna, we wanna be ahead of the game. We wanna know when something is about to go bad so that we can resolve it before it does. The end result that we're looking for with all of this monitoring and tracking systems that we've, we've deployed for our customers is to make sure the customer stays up. We want the customers to be productive. We want the customers and users to be productive. The way we accomplish that is by knowing about issues and often resolving them before the customer is even aware there's a problem. There's so much more that I don't have time to go into it all now. But for more information, visit us at www.anm.com.